Can I beat Pokemon Shining Pearl using only a team of Shinies? Yo, what is up you guys? It's Dominator here and I'm back with another Pokemon Shining Pearl, but I can only use Shiny Pokemon. In the last video, we got a second Shiny. It was not the Shiny we were looking for, so check that video out. I'll probably have a card right here and... uh we're going to return to the spot we were hunting before to get that shiny later on, but I wanted to change it up a bit and go for my next member for my team, which I'm guaranteed to get. So we're going to go for shiny Kranidos. Now, I have Shining Pearl, and the fossils are version exclusive, and Kranidos is only available in Brilliant Diamond. So I had my cousins, shout out to them, trade me some fossils. I'm going to hopefully have them trade me a few more, but to start right now, we have... Let's see, we have seven skull fossils. So, you know, we got some we got some ground to work with. I wanted to do more than one because you can do more than one per reset and it's just, you know, it's faster. I think the resets in these games are pretty brutal because of how long it takes to load the game. So we have seven right now. We're gonna hopefully try to get 10 before we get this thing shiny. And uh, unless we get it really fast and that'd be ridiculous. But all you gotta do to do this hunt is have a fossil in your bag save in front of this guy actually i think you don't even have to save right here but you have to he wants to study a fossil we just give him a skull fossil he wants you to go outside you just go outside like so go back in now we save because the pokemon isn't generated until you pick up the fossil and he's gonna want to Give us the fossil, the Kranidos. And you can see if it's shiny right now, right here, obviously it's not, but it'll show up shiny on this when it's registering to the Pokedex for the first time. We're not gonna give it a nickname and it's gonna be added to the party. And then we gotta give him another fossil and do this over and over again until we run out of our fossils. And then we, we do it like that. So before we begin actually doing this hunt, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, YouTube tells me about 93% of you guys who watch my videos are not yet subscribed. So if you're watching this video and you're excited about the series, make sure you leave a subscribe on the channel. I don't know why I said it like that. That was kind of weird. But let's get that number down below 90%. That would be fantastic. And thank you guys so far for all the support. So let's get right into this. I guess, I guess we'll do this until we run out for the first reset. And then I will cut here. I don't know. Well, we'll just grab a fossil. We got to, I guess I'll just add these one at a time. Oh, we don't want to give it a nickname. Actually, wait, hold up. Pro strats. I think you can disable nicknames. Yes, that'll make you go by a little faster. Oh, let's not save the settings. Okay, because I don't know if that actually saves the game. So we're going to wait until we reset before we do that. Oh, okay, so we actually we actually did encounter seven. So that was it for that reset. I'm gonna cut here and I will see you once I get a shiny Kranidos. Oh, yes! Yes, dude! Shiny Kranidos! Oh my gosh! Oh, wh why do I always do this when I get a shiny? Oh my gosh! I was ready to finish soon. I was gonna stop at 3400. Let's go! Wait, wait, wait. 
I can record that. Hopefully I got it. I don't know. That's kind of cool. We'll screenshot it just in case, but oh my gosh. Shiny Cranidos has been sent to a box. 3,377, my longest hunt so far on this playthrough, but it's still under odds because my luck has been pretty good for this playthrough. <laughs> Dude, I'm so hyped for that. <laughs> I thought this one was going to go over odds. I really did. I was like, I got two pretty quick hunts in a row. And yeah, <laughs> we got it. Oh my gosh. How many more fossils do we have to spare in case I want to hunt another one? Eight. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. If I get two more, I could easily do this again. All right, let's check this out. Let's check this thing out. Here's all the regular ones. It's gonna be the last one. Here it is, shiny Cranidos. That looks sick. All right, let's put it in the party. It is officially on the team. I'm going to remove all of these ones and let's check it out. It's male, which is the likely candidate. If I got a female one, I would've lost my mind. That would've been insane, but uh, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be quiet nature. We are guessing the quiet nature. It's docile, so that doesn't change any stats, which is totally fine because, you know, it, it doesn't lower anything, so that's that's cool. Headbutt and leer. Oh, it's level one? What? Level one? I thought they were level 20. Weren't they level 20 in all of the other Pokemon games? Don't you get them? I think uh, in Sword and Shield, they're level 10, but Aren't all the fossils before that like level 20? I did not expect level one. We have to grind this thing. We have to swap grind this because I don't want to faint it out or anything. Or I guess we leave it in our party. That might help because EXP share. So there's our shiny Cranidos. I want to send this out to battle. We can remove the item from the armor fossil. I was putting armor fossils on my Pokemon so that I wouldn't accidentally revive them. So let's take that. We got regular Geodude and shiny Cranidos. Look at that, man. Breaks the mold. It always does that. Let's swap this out. Let's go into Shelly and let's KO this thing because we actually want to level this up a bit. <laughs> it's going to be tough. We And I realized that we do not go to the heart home gym we go to heart home next but we do not go to the gym next that's like one of the last gyms we fight i think the next gym is veilstone which is fighting which means cranidos is pretty much useless for that so cranidos is pretty much useless for the next gym my best pokemon for it is low-key probably just monferno and it i think it's gonna be really hard Okay, we'll take three levels. Oh my gosh, plus nine attack. I guess it did level up three times, but this thing's gonna be a really hard hitter. I'm really excited for it. Let's do one more encounter. We got regular Geodude and shiny Cranidos. That is it. So I'm gonna cut here. We're gonna continue the playthrough. Um, probably tomorrow because it's i was actually ready to finish now so we're not gonna play through yet we're gonna play through tomorrow we're gonna cut here we're gonna get to the gym we're going to nickname it and do whatever we do i don't know i i can't believe i got this thing i'm so glad i did so uh next hunt is gonna be weasel part two and then we, we gotta get to the gym at least first. I don't know if I even wanna beat the gym in this episode, but we'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll do that. All right, we are back. And before we do anything else, I want to quickly nickname my Cranidos. Um, you know, we're giving it quite the dinosaur name. It's gonna be a good one. We are naming it Terry. Bang up, bang up. Bango Terry? Put it in reverse, Terry! Now, you may be thinking, Terry, maybe that's a good pterodactyl name because Terry... No, no, it's Terry the Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
That was not a good joke. But we're naming it Terry. And we got Terry the Shiny Kranidos. I gotta level this guy up a lot. We gotta do some grinding. And we also have... I don't even know how far I wanna get. You gotta go all the way to Veilstone. There's a good chance I don't even fight the next gym before we start hunting our next shiny because our next shiny is going to be a pretty low level anyway assuming we actually get weaseled this time so i don't know but uh also before we, be we continue i want to give a quick shout out to everyone who helped me get these cranidos fossils as i am on shining pearl i can only get the armor fossils for shield on but i had people trade me the skull fossils for Cranido so I could get this shiny. So shout out to my cousins. They gave me about like seven of them. And then uh, shout out to the Astral Alchemist and Czar Quetzal on YouTube. I will leave your guys' channels in the description. So thank you guys for sending me these fossils. It really helped out. And I still have eight more if I want to hunt this thing again. So that's huge. So thank you guys so much for that. But uh, check out them in the description, and we will continue this playthrough. Is that a crit? No. Well... There's death number two. We tried, we tried to, uh, where's it running? I, oh, I can't get away, sick. Oh, dude, that's so annoying. Like, it goes for Ember, it doesn't do that much. It goes for Ember, it goes for Tail Whip, Tail Whip, and then it's like, oh, Flame Charge, here we go. Like, good thing I had that. Every time, it's because it gets some janky move I didn't know it gets. That's what happens when you don't do competitive. Can I actually not run from this thing? Dude, it's a freaking level 15. Oh my gosh, dude. It's so annoying. <sighs> dude, that's the struggle of, like, having these weak Pokemon. Not even that is that Kranidos just doesn't have any rock moves. He doesn't have any moves. He's got Headbutt. That's it. That's literally it. Sick. No, no experience for that. That's awesome. And I don't have fly. I don't even remember what gym you get fly at. I, I want to hope it's the third one. I feel like it's not. Because <laughs> defog is, is an HM here. Such a joke, man. Goes for the same two moves. And then, oh, when I'm about to kill it. Oh, let's go for the strongest move it has all of a sudden. That I didn't know it gets. That's, that's just awesome, man. Thank God we're not doing a Nuzlocke. Because that would have been 3,700 or 3,377 revi fossils revived for nothing. Why is it put him at level 1 in this game? That makes absolutely no sense. Like, it, it's not an egg. It lived in the previous lifetime. Like, I don't know why it would be at level 1. That actually makes no sense. Dude, encounters in this game are so janky. You shouldn't be walking not even a full step to get an encounter. Oh, I forgot. I said tell me that it breaks the mold every time. What is this? What is this? I haven't moved from the same patch. I haven't even left the single patch of grass. And we have encountered three Pokemon. And they're all Geodude. If it was a Mach... Actually, Machop would be worse. I... I... This... This Pokemon can't kill anything. Oh my gosh. Thank God we got out of that. Because Bronzor is one of the most obnoxious Pokemon to fight. Which is part of the reason why I put it on the Dream Team. <laughs> Come on, learn to move. Learn to move. Damn. Are you freaking kidding me? What is Headbutt? Headbutt's 70, takedowns 90, most likely will miss, and does recoil damage. So we're not taking that. That's sick. All that for just another normal type move. All right, we made it to Heart Home, and we're going to get greeted by a Baneri. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, contest! Woo! We got contests! We gotta go to the contest hall and do all those cutscenes, but, uh... I think after we can get to Salacian Town, before we do anything though, I think we can go to Amity Square and unlock the ability to have our Pokemon follow us, so that would be kind of cool. And I've seen that it's like Let's Go, where you can pick the Pokemon that follows you as opposed to just the first one in your party, which I really like that because sometimes you want to just have a really cool Pokemon following you, but then have your first Pokemon be the most optimal one. Oh, here we go. Cool! Alright, so all you have to do is enter and exit to get that, so that's nice. Let's send out Terry! Wait. What's the little star mean? Oh, it means it's out? Okay, um... Walk together, there we go! Now we got Terry following us. Oh, it's the leader. Oh yeah, so this is the one where you have to- you have to fight her like- she's like one of the last gyms. Normally, um... Or not, in, in Platinum, you can actually fight her right away as soon as you talk to her there. Oh my gosh, it's mom! How'd you get there? I was in front of you the whole time. I guess I was shiny hunting for a freaking Shellos, and you probably passed me then. And we're gonna talk about- I'm gonna get a tuxedo, we're gonna talk about contests, and I think that's all we need before we can move on to the next place. I healed my Pokemon, right? I'm actually really worried about this. His freaking Staravia are... No, we should be fine against the Staravia if he leads with that. Star... Oh, Star... Oh, come on. This is child's play. I don't know what level it is, though. Level... Let's focus energy. I don't think this thing can do... It can do that. So that's sick. Oh, I'm actually worried about this because evasiveness in a playthrough literally makes it so that you miss every time. That was not very effective, but it did a lot, and it made me miss sick. It's okay, we have a lot of potions to work with. We just need to get some crits, and we'll be good. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, Terry. You got this. We just gotta land one more hit. Hope this hope we don't miss 50 times in a row, because that's the issue. That's huge. That is huge. When Pokemon start doing double team, or like Sand Attack, or Sand Attack you can at least swap. Double team is an issue. What do we got? Prinplop? We without a doubt switch here. Do we... What do we switch into, though? I guess. <laughs> is Prinplop Steel-type, or is that only Empoleon? I think it's only Empoleon. Because at least Monferno could do some damage to it if it's Steel-type. Okay, at least we can tank out some moves here. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Oh, because it's based on the weight of the Pokemon, I think. Oh, we got the buffs, too. We literally got everything to rise. Special attack, defense, speed, special defense. Do we just go for that again? We're faster now. Oh, th that was huge. Oh, and it goes back to Bubble Beam because it realized Grass not was not the play. I just realized Shelly can take on the Starly and the Staraptor because of ancient power. Like, the potential- the future Staraptor. 
But for now, we're just trying to get all the buffs we can with the Ancient Power so that we can sweep him with Water Pulse. Uh, I think he's got a Roselia, though, but, you know, one thing at a time. And Terry's going to level up again. That's huge. There's the Roselia. Now, how strong is this thing? We're going to recover. And we're going to see how much damage this thing does. Because I don't think it'll one-shot, but I want to see. I think it will at this HP, but at full, I don't know. Oh, that's just not good. Okay, you know. The buffs were nice, but we got to switch. <laughs> There's just no way. We got to play safe. And plus, I don't think Mud Slap is going to do much regardless. <laughs> Yeah, went for the double growth, so we, we could have gotten something off. What's his last Pokemon? Oh, is it Munchlax? It might be Munchlax, which is totally fine because we have Power Punch. Oh, it's a Ponyta. Well, I mean, might as well just stay. And your Trash Berry, or sorry, Jadinkalage. I keep forgetting that's your name. Just get good. Yeah, run along. Now we gotta heal. And we gotta move on to Salacion Town. Woo! Alright, we made it to Salacion Town. Now, there really isn't anything I can do here. So we gotta keep going. We gotta get to Veilstone. I think, okay, here's the plan. We're gonna get to Veilstone, but we're not gonna fight the gym because I just need something that can take the gym on. So what we're gonna do, I originally said we were gonna go for Buizel again, try to get a second phase in for Buizel, but I think it would be way more worth it if we went for Drifloon this time. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna try to mess with the date to see, I think, so when you time skip, it will lock your game for 24 hours. So I think the play is to set my date to a Wednesday at like 11 p.m. or like 11.50 p.m. So then it's locked for 24 hours. Once the 24 hours pass, it'll be Thursday at 11.50 p.m. Then it'll be unlocked, it'll think it's Thursday, and then it'll go over to Friday, and then Drifloon should be there. And then I have heard that if your time, if the time passes Friday, it will remove Drifloon if you reset your game. So we have to constantly make it so that our date stays on Friday, which is going to be hard, but we'll figure it out. Oh gosh, I forgot about this battle. This battle's ridiculously hard. It's literally just two ace trainers that have just super strong Pokemon. And they have four. Inferno and Glamia. I think the Glamia's gonna fake out. We can take the Monferno down though. We're actually gonna get rid of Terry, because Terry's gonna get wrecked. But we're gonna water pulse that because that's gonna get taken out. My Monferno's cooler than yours. Okay, Aerial Ace, okay. They're both going for Jellos, which is okay with that. Gyarados, oh my gosh, dude. I think this is it. I think this is just it. <laughs> With Intimidate, Um, We have to switch again. <laughs> no, dude, there's no way, dude. There's actually no way we beat this. We have to Ancient Power this. 
Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna lose... We're gonna have a few deaths on this battle, that's for sure. We have to Ancient Power the Gyarados. Okay, it's not going for freaking water moves right now, so that's good. I'm still worried because it's lowering our defense. This Ancient Power has to do a lot. That did not do enough. Come on, Gyarados, don't do anything. Don't do anything, don't do anything, don't do anything. Waterfall, dude. This is not ideal. Oh my gosh. It's gonna dish it's gonna destroy my Kranidos too. Jeez, oh, man. And I don't even know what the other Pokemon is. We just gotta pray we're faster, which I doubt. Freaking Glammeow's faster. That's gonna lower our deck, save. Oh, went for Leer again, that's huge. Okay, Gyarados is down. We just have to be able to kill whatever's after the Glammeow, which is probably like another Gyarados or something. Odds of the the buffs from uh, Ancient Power because I do not get them often. Now we just gotta hope that Shellos can survive a potential Gyarados that comes in. Oh, Kadabra! Oh, this thing can still absolutely destroy us, but it's gonna go down really easily. We don't really have much for uh, side beam. This might just kill. No, okay, went for Shelly. Okay, good. Fine, that's easy. That's totally fine. Oh my gosh, dude, I thought it was gonna be another Gyarados. Gyarados destroys my team, except for Shelly. Who would have thought? Shelly's like the MVP of this fight. And I'm gonna be real, I didn't think we were gonna have a death with Goku, because he's our starter and it would have just been insane. Like, he's just, he's just too good. Let's not plant a barrier. We made it, though. We made it to Veilstone. Two casualties. Uh, this wouldn't be so hard if I had more Pokemon on my team. But, you know, we, we work with what we got. So we made it to Veilstone. I have access to so many more TMs now, it seems. So we'll, we're gonna check that out. We'll figure that out. Next hunt, we're not we're not fighting the gym. First of all, we're just not. There's no way we're gonna get absolutely destroyed. It's a fighting gym. It will destroy our Cranidos, which we just got, and then Shellos and Munferno are not enough to beat it. So we have to go for Drifloon. So I have to wait a day before I can even hunt again, which is just fantastic, I guess. But whatever, we work with what we got. But yeah, we, we're gonna mess about, we're gonna level grind, we're gonna do all that stuff before the next video, we'll figure it out. And that is gonna be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring those notification bells, all that good stuff. Be sure to join the domination. I will see you in the next video.